got to be real delicate with this whole Carmen situation. We're about one remark from getting our asses kicked out the door. What do we do if she kicks us out? Well, we didn't leave it until we made a couple calls. I didn't want her to reach that pitch. I don't want to be in your friend's house and start telling them what's what. It's starting not to be so abusive. She kind of freaked out when she saw Marvin in the back of the car. Well, look at it from her position. It's 8 in the morning. She just woke up. Wasn't ready to deal with this shit. Don't forget who's doing who a favor. Or that favor is taking shit. She can take that favor and shove it right up her ass. Shit! What the fuck did you do to her towel? I dried my hands. You're supposed to wash them first. You watch me wash them. I washed them and get them wet. Well, maybe she had like some lavender or something. I mean, blood's really hard to get out. I washed my hands with the same soap you did and my towel doesn't look like a goddamn maxi pad. Now what if she walks to this door and sees this shit, Vincent? It's stuff like this that's gonna bring the situation to a boil. Look, you know I respect you, man. Just don't put me in this position, all right? You ask me like that, man? No problem. She's your friend. You deal with her. Mmm, mmm. This is some serious gourmet shit, Carmen. Me and Vincent here, we would have been okay with some taster's choice. I'm just bringing this gourmet shit on us. What what kind of coffee is this? Knock it off, Julie. What? Look, I know how good my coffee is, okay? I freaking buy my coffee. Mm, Hector, yeah, he buys the nasty tasting stuff. Me, I like the gourmet stuff. Anyway, that's not really on my mind right now. Coffee's the last of my worries. What's on my mind right now Mm, I don't know. Why there's a dead essay in my garage. Oh, don't even worry about that. We're gonna... You know what? Mm. I don't know, Julie. But did you see a sign when you were driving in that said, Dead essay storage here? No, I didn't see it. Did you see a sign outside my house that said, Dead essay storage. Store your dead essays here. Bring them all in. Did you see a sign? You want to know why you didn't see a sign? Because I don't freaking store dead essays here anymore, fool. Well, I mean, we're just here to... You know what? No, stop. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Look, I love my husband. All right, Hector, he's a good man. Last time me and Hector talked about this was going to be the last time me and Hector talked about this, okay? Now, picture this. My husband... Gets out of the hospital, long day at work, comes home, walks through his garage, sees a dead freaking body in his garage. You know what? And they get freaking divorced. That's it. No trial separation, mm, no counseling, just freaking divorced. And you know what? I don't want to get freaking divorced. I love my husband. You know what, Julie? I really do want to, I, I, I want to help you. You're a good friend, you know? I ain't going to lose my husband doing it. You guys aren't going to get the board. You know what? Hector, he's he's due to be here in an hour. I suggest I'm going to be good. I don't have a choice, do I? I have a dead body in my garage. I'm going to be good, though. I'm going to give you 45 minutes before he comes in. I want you to call your people, get them lying here, and get that body out of my garage, and get the heck out of my house. That's all we want. Just make a few calls, we're gonna be out of here. All right. I suggest you get to it. All right, you're a good friend, Carmen. Mm -hmm. Good friend. <laughs> good friend, terrible wife, soon to be ex-wife. Who are you? I'm Vincent. Carmen, we really appreciate what you're doing for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? You want a pastry? Yeah, I should do. Yo, Jules. Yeah? You want a pastry? Yeah. What are you waiting for? I ain't your mate. Come and get it. Okay. All right.